Hi guys, welcome to the tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see how to set up Angular 4 project with Visual Studio 2015. So step 1 is we need to install Node.js and NPM if they are not already installed on your machine. So you can just go to official site of Node.js here and, and you just have to download the exe for Windows. So I have already downloaded it here. So you just have to click it uh, open it and just follow the instructions of next button and the node will be installed on your machine. Now we have to verify which version of node and npm are installed on your machine. So you just have to go to command prompt and just type node space hyphen v. So you can see the version is 8 for node and we also require node package manager that is npm and version okay it's 5 so node is of version 8 and npm is of version 5 so the minimal requirement is that the node version should be greater than 4 and npm should be greater than 3 the low versions throw some errors while running angular app so will require the latest versions so it's fine so the next step is that we require update 3 the reason for update 3 is that angular 4 is strongly typed with typescript and update 3 supports typescript that's the reason we require it so to check which version of angle uh, visual studio you have you can go to help about and you can see here that it's Visual Studio Professional 2015 update 3 so that's fine if you don't have it you can just go to tools extensions and updates and click on updates so here you can find that updates but since on this machine it's already installed it's not been seen here I already downloaded it yeah here you can just double click this and follow the wizard to install update 3 okay so the next thing is that we have to configure external web tools so the need for configuring the external web tool is that we also need to tell Visual Studio that kindly use the external web tools like NPM before looking into the internal tools. So we'll just look into it. Let's go to Visual Studio, Tools, Options, Projects and Solutions, External Web Tools. So here you can see the path element is already at the top. Sometimes it's not on the top. Just imagine it's here. So we just have to select it and drag it up above this entry by this arrow button. That's it. Just click on OK and restart the Visual Studio so that the changes can take place. So in my case, I have already restarted it. So is that's fine okay so the next ship is that we require TypeScript for Visual Studio so you can go to this official site for downloading TypeScript here you just have to click on download button and the TypeScript will be downloaded I have already downloaded it you can see here TypeScript dev you just have to double click this exe and install it so it will be automatically configured with your Visual Studio okay there are two ways of doing this 
You can also install TypeScript by npm install g TypeScript and the version. The reason for this is the g is that it will install TypeScript globally on your machine and at the rate 2.2 is the version. So since we have directly installed through exe there is no need of doing this. So now we will begin with the setup. Go to Visual Studio, go to New, Project, select Web, ASP.NET Web Application, give whatever name you have to give. I will give Angular 4 and just click OK. Now in my case I will just select empty because I don't want anything in the project. Since I am going to set up an angular app I don't require files of ASP.NET. So I will just select OK. OK here we go. So our web application is ready. Now we just have to incorporate our Angular 4 project into this Visual Studio. So for doing this, we can just go to the quick start files of Angular by GitHub or there is also another option. We can just go to Angular IO. In fundamentals and you can download any of the examples here in my case I will just download this example that's it so I will extract it okay I have already done it so you just have to copy all these files to the location of your Visual Studio project Angular 4. Just find the .cs project file and directly copy paste all the Angular files here. And that's it. So the next step is that you need to download all the dependencies for Angular. So the way for doing this is you can go to the path where project.json file resides. Go to command prompt. Go to that particular directory. Sometimes you just have to write C and it comes. Okay. So here we have to just write npm install and it will install all the dependencies which are into package.json file. I will just go into deep when I will just incorporate these files here. Right now I am just going to install the dependencies. So npm install and just hit enter. So as you can see, it will download all the dependencies for the required Angular 4. And see, you can see that the node underscore modules folder is created here because it contains all the dependencies which we have just installed by npm install. Okay, now let's incorporate all these files in our Visual Studio. We'll just go to Visual Studio, click on Show All Files. You can see all the files. 
Okay, we'll start to include files one by one. So we'll start by package.json include. Here you can see all the dependencies which we have just downloaded install on this project. Second, let's go to the source folder tsconfig.json we have to include this we will also require systemjs.config main.ts okay it will ask you that your project has been configured to support typescript now since we have already installed typescript we don't want to do it by NuGet package manager so I will just click no I will also include index.html and the app okay so just make some changes here in node.html you will have to just append a slash before node modules in the base href you have to give the path of source folder Similarly, in system.js.config file, you just have to add slash before node modules. So as you can see, you have just changed two files, system.js.config, here you have appended slash, and index.html file, here also you have appended slash before node underscore modules and you have included the path of source folder here in the base href so right click on the index.html and set it as a start page so we just build okay now we'll run the solution hey and here we go we can see ang hello angular as you can see here hello and the name which is the name of the field which I have declared in TypeScript so that's it we can start off with our development here so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and you can quickly start with Angular 4 with Visual Studio thanks for watching thanks a lot